This is Deshanta B. And welcome to Let Me Read to You. Today's story is called Little Bear's Big Adventure by author Julia Hubery, illustrated by Gil Guile. You know what time it is. Let me read to you and stop playing. Come on, let's go. What shall we do today, little bear? asked Mommy Bear. Little Bear peeked out of their shady cave at the hot sun. Can we stay here where it's lovely and cool, he asked. If we do that, we will have nothing to eat, said Mommy Bear. But I have an idea. Shall we go somewhere as cool as a cave where there's lots of food we can catch and pick? Little Bear jumped up and down. Where is it? What will we catch? What will we pick? He asked. It's a surprise, laughed Mommy Bear. But here's a clue. What is your favorite dessert? Strawberries, Little Bear shouted. Yum! Let's go! At first, Little Bear skipped along happily. But as the day got hotter, Little Bear became tired and grumpy. This isn't very cool, complained Little Bear, as Mommy Bear stopped on a high rocky ledge in the sun. Hush, come and look. Here's your surprise, said Mommy Bear. Little Bear climbed up beside her and looked down shining out of the forest like a silver moon in a deep green sky was a beautiful cool pool. Hooray! yelled Little Bear. They followed a stream which bubbled from the rocks, splashing into rainbows as it tumbled down, 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 and into the pool. The water was icy fresh and delicious, and Little Bear loved it. First, we'll have a little rest, said Mommy Bear. Then I'll teach you to fish, and we'll pick our strawberries. And soon, we'll have a perfect picnic, shouted Little Bear. Little Bear snuggled up with Mommy Bear in the mossy shade but he was too excited to nap. I will surprise mommy, he thought. I'll make the perfect picnic myself. Strawberries first, he said, for he knew the little nooks where wild strawberries loved to grow. When he had enough for two hungry bears, he arranged them carefully on a leaf. Now I must catch fish, said Little Bear. He looked at the troubling stream and he looked at the quiet pool. If I were a fish, he thought, I would hide in the cool pool. Little Bear peered into the still deep water. At first, he saw nothing. Then, did something move in the shadows? Flick, flack! A flash of silver darted by. Little Bear stretched out to grab the fish. And as he did, he saw a reflection in the water. Something huge and dark and hungry was reaching out to grab him. Splash! Little Bear lost his balance and toppled into the pool. Down, down, down he sank. The huge dark creature jumped in after him. Little Bear struggled to escape, but strong hairy arms grabbed at him, caught him, held him tight, and pulled him from the pool. Little Bear wiggled, 
free and sore. Mommy bear, mommy, he cried. Where is the b- big, h- hairy, sk- scary thing that grabbed me? I am the big, hairy, scary thing, she laughed. I only wanted to make you a wake up surprise, said little bear. That was a kind idea, smiled mommy bear. But surprises are tricky. You must be careful or nasty surprises get mixed up with the nice ones. Mommy Bear gave him a big soggy hug and found there was one more surprise for them both. Little Bear's Big Adventure, The End. This is Deshanta B. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Little Bear's Big Adventure by author Julia Hubery, illustrated by Gil Guile. The music bump of this video will be listed and is available at the YouTube free audio library. You know what time it is. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And stop playing. And until next time, bye guys.